Hey guys, Super Bro looks back, and this time I got a Uncharted Drake's Fortune game guide for you. This is part one of two, in which I'll be showing you where to find every single treasure, including the secret treasure, in the game. There are 61 treasures in total, 60 of which are only needed for the main achievements, but if you get the secret one as well, then you'll be able to unlock new stuff like the Navarro skin and all that. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Stay tuned and I'll see you with the first one. Okay, so the very first treasure is at this at the very beginning of the second chapter. Uh, from where you start, you run along the river, keep running, run through these two big rocks and just follow the river round until you get here. There it is, in the little crack between the rocks. Follow the river. And once it once you turn left on a sharp bend, to come around here. And the very first treasure is in this block here. So go ahead and pick it up. Silver mosaic ear Inca earring. Cool. The second treasure is found at the bit where you have to break through that. I think it's made of wood or a thin hollow stone or whatever. What is after you climb up it's after you do the jumping bit. You jump over here, carry on like usual. Then you carry on, jump onto this big rock that gives under your weight. And then jump on there. But instead of heading right, you turn left. I'll just ignore that. Jump left next to the tree. And it's down here, just in the I'll show you I'll show you where it is quickly. Just down there, just next to the tree base. Jeweled silver monkey. Badass. We gotta find a way to smash. We gotta find a way across. Treasure number three is uh, before you blow that bit up, or you can do it afterwards, I'll just do it now just because I'm gonna have to go through there at some point. Before going over there, come to the edge of the ledge, then turn left. The third treasure is in there, right down there in that corner. Decorated gold ring, bit of a red tint, but hey, I'll go try to find the num treasure number four. Alright then, for treasure number four, I think. After you filled this bit up with water by shoving that thing forward, you just jump in. Bit of a terrifying scream there, but... And then once you go through here, one, just after you get out... If I could swim a little bit faster, that'd be great. But instead of going left and climbing up, you go right. And then in that little bit, there is the silver llama. Cool, cool. For treasure number five, after the wooden platform thing where you gotta jump over everything and everything's fallen down, you come up this staircase, there's a bit of a cutscene that I just skipped through. And immediately on your left, there is a jar. Ignore the jar. The treasure is what you're looking for. It's right next to that skeleton. So just go ahead and pick that up. Golden Inca Cup. Cool. Treasure number six, I think. Um. As soon as you're out of the temple, you climb up on this rock. You don't actually have to climb on the rock, but then you climb up onto the first pillar, onto the second one, onto the third, and then onto the fourth, which is where the treasure is. And there you go. Go ahead and pick that up. Silver turtle. Awesome. That silver turtle was actually the very last treasure in chapter two. However, chapter three will be starting now, so I'll be back in a second. For the first treasure in chapter 7, once you start climbing, just climb up until I say stop. So you climb up, just do everything normally until you get to the third vine, which I shall get to in a minute. Just gotta climb over all these ledges, oh no. Okay. Now then, around here. Alright, this is the third vine. It's a slightly yellowy one with red leaves. Instead of swinging, you climb up to the top of it. And look, lo and behold, the seventh treasure is here. So let's go. Golden Tyrona Pendant? I think it's Tyrona. I've really got no idea how to pronounce it, but there you go. That's treasure number seven. Treasure number eight is found when you get onto the U-boat. Instead of running into the entrance, you run round it. And it's actually surprisingly long, but you, haha, innuendos. You will go, want to go right to the tip of it, 
And there you go. Treasure is right at the end. Golden, turquoise, Inca earring. Awesome. That treasure number 8 was actually the very last treasure in this chapter. However, in chapter 4, there are 10 treasures, so it could take a while to gather them all. But I shall show you them now, back in a second. The very first treasure of this chapter, which is number 9, can be found right at the beginning. You see the parachute, just turn around, and it is over here. Just to the right of the tree as you're facing it. Silver Inca figurine, nice. Treasure number 10, once you get to the first waterfall in Plain Wrecked, then you turn left, go into this little nook in the rock, and it's here in the grass. Silverfish charm, awesome. I actually got myself a trophy for that as well, so that's always nice. Treasure number 11, once you get to the very first log crossing of Plain Wrecked, ignore that and just drop down here just off to the right of where you go and the treasure is I can pick it up but I'm not actually sure whether there it is I was standing on it it is just there so go ahead and pick that up gold frog nice treasure number 12 is found in this massive open area where you have to kill a ton of I think they're pirates I don't know but anyway you go up here climb up these pillars just run round and then leap over and then the treasure is up on your left it's just next to this rock don't know if you saw that glint but just move out the way and there it is go ahead pick that up intricate gold ring pretty cool treasure number 13 is just before you climb over that gate there you head left keep heading left over to this wall some climb up it turn left again and there it is pattern silver ring awesome all right then treasure 14 after you've climbed over the gate and dropped down which leaves you over there you jump over here come around here through here if you want kill a load of pirates in here then head up, head up to the left once you're over here turn right again it's right down here there you go, Golden Jaguar. Treasure number 15 is at this bit where you have to jump from the rock to the log. Ignore that, jump down here, go to the right, and the treasure is in this little gap there. Looks kind of cool in my opinion, but hey, yep, that's treasure number 15. Treasure number 16 can be found as soon as you go through this doorway thing, arch, whatever. Turn right, and it's immediately there. Golden toothpick. Coolest looking toothpick I've ever seen, but there you go. That's treasure number 16. Now then, treasure number 17. This is just after you drop from that ledge onto that rock, just before all the death traps and stuff. I've already killed everybody in this area, so not to worry about them. But before you go in there, turn right. Come down past this rock. I've fallen off here a few times, so watch out. And there is the treasure. There it is. Just wait for the glint one more time, and... I think I might be standing on it. There it is. Silverbird Vessel. Cool. Treasure number 18, and the very last one in this chapter. After you've gone past all those traps, Instead of going straight off to the fortress, you turn left, go up to where people are shooting you from and jumping down from, and the treasure is up here. Just wait for the glint, there it is. Silver Inca Earring, and yeah, that's the last one in this chapter, so it's the fortress next, and I'll see you in a minute. Now then, this one's a bit of a special one because this is the strange relic. Hang on, just let me grab some ammo quickly. Cool. This is the strange relic that's not actually part of the game, however it does count towards 61 treasures. So, once you come out here you'll see some pirates, I've already killed them all. And then you climb up here. Uh, this, this way. And then you jump backwards. Onto here. And there you go. 
Here it is, glinting in the sunlight. The strange relic. I've heard it's from Jack and Daxter. I've never actually played it myself, but there you go. It looks a bit like an egg, but I could be completely wrong. And there you go. That's the strange relic found in Chapter 5, The Fortress. Cool. Treasure number 20. That's where you found the strange relic. You make your way over here on the roof, over to this pile of rubble. Let's jump over it. Over to this last watchy alty bit, watchtower thing. And the treasure is inside. Silver Jaguar. Also looks pretty cool. And I just got the intermediate fortune hunter, so I got some rewards. Badass. Treasure number 21 is found after you've jumped down from the watchtower, which is up there somewhere. I think that's the top of it there. You want to jump down here. There are a couple of pirates to kill up here. But instead, you want to turn back, go into this one that's full of rubble next to the gate, and the next treasure is here. A golden mosaic Inca earring, also looks pretty cool. Looks huge for an earring as well, with a bit of a red tint. But cool, that's treasure number 21. Treasure number 22, and the very last one in the, what is it, the fortress? So after you kill the machine gunner, like that, you come down here, but don't go out of this room. Turn immediately right and just jump over here. And the treasure is just down there. You can see the glint and there you go. It's a golden spoon. Giant spoon, tiny handle, badass. Treasure number 23 is found just after exiting the waterway. You turn right, go up these stairs. There are some pirates to kill, but I've already killed them all. And turn left at the top, the only way you can go. Hop over this ledge, make sure not to fall in, and the treasure is right there. Silver Inca Mask, awesome! That's number 23. Well then, treasure number 24. After you've killed every single pirate in this area, there are quite a lot of them, including Machine Gun. Go towards the gate, climb up these rocks, just hop over, and the treasure is right there. There's the glint there. Spanish silver coin. Awesome. That's number 24. Okay then, uh, treasure number 25. First you've got to drop down that little thing after going through the castle bit. Instead of turning straight right, um, left, you want to turn right. And the treasure is down there. Silver, I think, again, I think it's Tyrona. Not sure, but silver Tyrona pendant. Badass. For treasure 26, the last one in this chapter and the last one in this first part of the treasure walkthrough, you're going to want to run around here. This is where you have to start climbing around. Jump up, jump up. All normal until you... I probably should have jumped for that other bit first. But instead of heading right, you head past these trees, climb over the rubble, and the last... or the... Treasure number 26 is here. The gold llama. Nice. Looks more like a giraffe in my opinion, but there you go. Alright then. If you found this interesting, entertaining, useful, enjoyable, whatever, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment. They're always appreciated. Check out the rest of my videos and I'll see you in the second part, which will have all the rest of the treasures in. And yeah, see you in the next one. Bye bye.